Music legend Sinead O'Connor has died at the age of 56. She outlived her son by only a year and a half. Singer Sinead O'Connor died 18 months after the death of her son. In recent years, the legend of rock music has completely ceased to resemble its former self. Previously, the outrageous rebel who shaved her head, defiantly refused prestigious awards, demanded to delete her name from the Grammy nominees lists and became famous not only for her mezzo-soprano, but also for scandalous statements. The famous Irish singer has released 10 studio albums, and her song Nothing Compares To You was named the number one single in the world in 1990 by the Billboard Music Awards. O'Connor was even awarded the first award for a classic Irish album at the RT Choice Music Awards. However, everything changed in 2018, Sinead O'Connor said that she changed her faith and name. The artist began to practice Islam, which, according to her, made her happier. I want to announce that I am proud to have become a Muslim. This is the natural end of the path of any sane theologian. Any study of the scriptures leads to Islam, which makes all other scriptures superfluous. I will have a new name, Shuhada, the singer wrote on social networks. A year before that, the singer openly told fans that she had to fight depression. Then, in her video message, the singer admitted that she had not been able to cope with her anxiety for several years, all this time she had been living alone in a hotel on the outskirts of New Jersey. In January 2022, Sinead's family had a grief, her son committed suicide. The singer was inconsolable. In her social networks, O'Connor dedicated a post to her 17-year-old son. My beautiful son, Nevium Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the light of my life, has decided to end his earthly struggle and is now with God. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby. I love you very much. Rest in peace. The tragedy seriously undermined the singer's already fragile emotional state. She always said that she and her son were two halves of the same soul. According to the artist, it was Shane who was the only person who ever loved her unconditionally and unconditionally.